Hi, I'm Joe from Garmin. Like most runners, you probably experience some good days and some off days. Thanks to an advanced feature on your compatible Garmin device called Performance Condition, you can gain insight into your body's fatigue level and how it changes over the course of a run. Like the other new measurements derived from your speed and heart rate data, this one requires a chest strap heart rate monitor to measure your heart rate variability. As you run, the performance condition feature analyzes your pace, heart rate, and heart rate variability to make a real-time assessment of your ability to perform. During the first six to 12 minutes of your run, the device will alert you to your current performance condition. So what does this number mean? Well, it's essentially a good day, bad day indicator. In more technical terms, performance condition is a real-time assessment of the current deviation from your baseline VO2 max. Each point of the scale represents about 1% of your VO2 max. So if your performance condition is plus four, that means all systems are go. You can expect that day's run to feel good, and if you have a workout on tap, you'll probably hit your times no problem. During your first few runs with the device, while it's learning your fitness level, you could see large performance condition values because your baseline VO2 max is still being determined. After your VO2 max estimate has stabilized, your performance condition will too. Then it can serve as a reliable day-to-day -day indicator of your performance capability. You can add performance condition as a data field to one of your training screens so you can track it through the course of a run, workout, or race. This can serve as objective measurement-based insight to your fatigue level. How you apply such information is up to you, but it just might help you avoid bonking if monitored correctly. And we all want to have more good day workouts in our training log.